Hello everyone, this is Linda and I have a project to share with you today. Uh, a few weeks ago I was at the Goodwill and I found this little box and it's uh, actually a little girl's jewelry box is what it was. And it was painted uh, bright pink, purple, and yellow. And I don't remember exactly the pattern that was on it, but I did share it in a haul video. So um, if you want to I'll link to that below in case you want to see what it looked like before I started it. Um, anyway, I painted it with gesso and then and it took a couple coats, like three of them, and then I put two coats of white paint on it. And um, so that finally covered up all the bright um, paint. I would have just put the paper right over it, but I was, it was so bright I was afraid that it would like show through, so I didn't want to take any chances. Um, so then I, I want to tell you about the paper first and then I'll go back and tell you about all the embellishments. I used the DCW uh, V, what was it, um, Primrose stack, and I chose this pretty paper here for the drawers. And then I chose this one for the top, and I used that same paper on both sides. And then on the back, I used this, which I thought was a really pretty page. I love that. Um, and then this side. Okay, it's kind of heavy. So it's kind of awkward to try to show. But anyway, um, I've used this lace here, and then I put it all around here and here. And then I used it all around the edge on both sides and in the front. And I was going to put it in the back, and I was short about an inch. so. This I got from Hobby Lobby, so when I go back to Hobby Lobby, which I don't know when will be because we don't have one here in town, but anyway, when I go back, I'll get some more of this lace, and then I'll finish this one little strip along the back because um, I just think it'll look prettier if I put some lace back there on that. Um, so anyway, then I used some rosette trim and went all around the top and along both sides and then I embellished both sides with some of this pearl uh, bead swirly doodad thing that I got from um, Want to Scrap. So there's one on each side. Now for the drawer pulls and I have since decided it was a very it was not a very good idea, but it's already on there, so it'll be okay. Um, but if I had to do it over, I wouldn't use these little flowers because they're kind of hard to pull out. But anyway, I used them, so I used um, two of these little um, appliques, and I don't remember what they came off of, but I know that they came off of something. Um, that I probably got at the Goodwill. And then I put a little doily behind here and then I used this little fabric flower here. And on the inside, I did paint all the inside, but I didn't do anything to the drawers themselves because there was a nice felt already on them and it uh, matched I thought pretty good, so I didn't recover that. So anyway, that's my uh, altered jewelry box, and just want to thank you for, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you for stopping by, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.